Hey guys, press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Pink Villa. Hi, this is me, Heisha, your fashion and beauty blogger at Pink Villa. Today, I've put together this easy five-minute go-to-work makeup look for you guys. So, if you all want to know how I got this look, keep on watching. So the very first thing that I did to kind of achieve this natural, perfect day office look is that I completely got rid of my foundation and used a concealer instead. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using a concealer over a foundation, it's only because a concealer can actually go a long, long way without caking. And at the same time, it gives you full coverage, but it doesn't really look too much. Which is why I opted for this NARS concealer, which matches perfectly with my skin tone. So you can go ahead and use a concealer that matches your skin tone. Now, after I was looking all that crazy with the concealer on, all I did was that I went ahead and used my buffing blending brush. Now, this one that I have here is from Real Techniques and I really like it. You can use any brush that you have at home or you can also use a beauty blender or simply use your fingers because that works great in blending your makeup too. Now, the next step is super, super important only because after you're done applying your concealer, since it's a day slash office wear look, you want your makeup to last you at least for the next seven to eight hours, which is why it becomes super important to set your makeup. Now to set your makeup, I'm going ahead and using this translucent powder that I have. You can use any setting powder that you have at home and in case by any chance you do not have a setting powder, you can just use your compact and you'll be good to go. Now once I was done setting the concealer, I went ahead and used a blush. Now the blush that I picked up for this look is this one from Estee Lauder. It's this beautiful rustic pink colour which is perfect for the day. It's neither too loud, neither it is too light which is why I feel it's great if you're using it you know, as an office makeup blush or maybe you just want to do a little bit of touch up when you're on the go. However, a small tip is that make sure that you're not going over the top with your blush because hey, it's daytime, it's the summers and you really don't want a loud pop of colour. So go over with your blush very gently in upward motion and you're going to be good to go with those nice cheekbones. Moving on to the eyes, now the cookie point here is that you really don't have to look out for a separate eyeshadow palette in the day, especially when you're in a hurry. Which is why I chose to keep my blush colour as well as my eyelid colour the same and I've gone ahead and used the same blush as exactly as my eyeshadow colour as well all over my lids very easily. You can use a brush just the way I'm using or you can simply use your finger, go over with it and you'll be done. Now, after I've gone ahead and applied my blush as an eyeshadow, I'm going to go and flutter open my eyelashes by using a mascara. Now, the one that I'm using in this video is this one from Smashbox. It's their newly launched mascara that really fans up and opens up your eye. And in the day, since we don't want to go over dramatic, all we're going to do is a little bit of pop of color on the eye and mascara and you're going to be sorted. Over the couple of years, one thing that I definitely realized was the importance of actually doing your brows. Now, trust me when I say this, brows can take you a long, long, long way simply because it adds definition and it also makes your face look a little bit chiseled. So if in the day you're removing that extra five minutes to do your work makeup look, make sure that you don't leave out your brows because they're super important. Now to do my brows, I'm using the Benefit Brow Gel. You get different colours matching your hair colour and your eyebrow colour. So pick one that suits your hair colour because it's super important that your eyebrow colour actually matches with your hair colour and only then you're going to look awesome. Okay, now when it comes to my lip, I have a little bit of a cheat code. Now, lipstick sometimes can tend to wear out and especially when you're in an office environment, when you're going to be talking a lot, maybe having a lot of coffee and eating and all of that, you don't want your lipstick to be all over your face. Which is why what I normally do is that I don't use a lipstick and I simply opt for a lip pencil. Now this lip pencil that I have is this beautiful neutral nude shade which is called Soar. It's a shade that matches my lip tone. So what I have done is just applied a little bit of lip balm and gone ahead and used my lip pencil all over my lip as a lipstick. 
cookie points because this not only lasts longer, it's not going to bleed out and your lips are going to look natural. So here it was, I decoded my easy 5 minute everyday go to look for you guys. Now this look is super wearable because you can wear it to your office or you can also wear it if you're heading out with your girls for a summer brunch in the day or maybe if you're doing that little grocery shopping in the afternoon, a little bit of makeup can take you a long long way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you all did, make sure that you like, share and subscribe to Pink Villa. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!